Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is going to be a quick little tutorial on how I made this gorgeous reversible satin bonnet for my hair. I did not use a sewing machine. So let's get straight into it. I'll show you exactly what you're going to need. For your materials, you need a yard of fabric, either silk or satin, whichever you choose. You need scissors, a needle and thread, elastic band, a measuring tape, and safety pins or push pins or both. So I got this gorgeous fabric from Joann's Fabric Store. This is one yard and I am just in love with these colors. So I'm showing you how the whole thing looks so you can see how the colors transition. You can also use a solid color or a print, whatever you want your bonnet to look like. Choose any color or print that you want. But because of the gradient effect of this particular fabric, this is how I'm going to get it to be a different color on each side of the bonnet when you reverse it. So first, I'm going to fold the fabric in half three times, making sure the edges line up as neatly as possible. So we're going to fold it once in half, again from corner to corner, and then one last time. And this is what you've got. Now we've got our measuring tape out and I'm just gonna mark, measure and mark off 12 inches from the corner. Not the corner where the free edges are, the corner where it is folded in both directions. So you mark off 12 inches from the center to going to the right and then again from the center to the 12 inch mark going up. And again, from the center to 12 inches into the middle. Now I'm just moving my measuring tape little by little to mark off the 12 inch mark all around. This is going to connect the top, center, and bottom marks that we just made so that this can be used as a guide for when we are going to cut. The shape is going to be kind of a half circle. And now I'm going to cut the outline following the marks that we just made on the fabric. What I did was I pinned down the four corners so that it could stay put and it allowed me to cut evenly, well mostly evenly and in a straight line. And when you open it up you should have two circles that look just like this. Mine ended up being two different colors because of that gradient effect of the fabric that I had. So now you're going to take the two sides, the two circles, and lay them together with the insides facing each other. If you're unsure which side is the inside versus the outside, the inside is the softer side. It's that silky side that you want touching your hair. So line the circles up so that the edges match up and then pin them together. I'm pinning all around the whole circle but leaving a small hole. This is just going to be 3 inches of space left open because we are going to need that later. So here's the little hole. I'm just choosing which thread matches the color of the fabric better and I ended up using the darker pink color to sew. And now we sew. I'm gonna sew all the way around the entire circle minus that three inch hole that we are leaving open. You can use a sewing machine if you have it, but it's no big deal if you don't. This actually went much quicker than I expected sewing it by hand, um, but obviously I won't show the whole thing because it's super redundant. <laughs> And here's the little space that I left open. Next, I'm cutting my elastic. I measured my head all around and it's 21 inches, so I cut 20 inches of elastic so that the bonnet would fit snug. And my elastic is half an inch, but if you want a wider band, you can get a wider elastic like one or two inches. Now here's the purpose of the space that we left open. You're going to pull the fabric through so that it is right side out and now the silky part will be on the outside. So now we have to make space for the elastic to fit inside. Because my elastic is half an inch, I'm measuring three-fourths of an inch from the edge of the circle all the way around. Whatever size elastic you have, add a fourth of an inch to it and mark that off going around the whole circle. 
and then we start sewing again you're going to sew all the way around following the lines that you just marked and this time you don't have to leave a space open so your starting and ending points should meet again didn't take that long i put my favorite show on and was sewing like i'm a retired grandma next is getting the elastic through the space we just made for it so i put safety pins on each end of the elastic and i pushed one side through the hole that we left open earlier the other end of the elastic stayed outside and i'm just using the pin as a guide to push and get the elastic all the way through to the other end And once you get that all the way through, you're going to sew the two ends of the elastic together once they meet. And you want to make sure that this is sewn tight and right because if this pops, then, you know, the whole bonnet is just over with. So just make sure it's secure. And finally, almost done. The last step is to close up the three inch space that we had left open in the beginning. Just make sure your elastic is in there and that is it. We have a new bonnet and it's reversible. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.